All right, so tomorrow on Global, we're getting Freya. Finally, the most anticipated Ragnarok character since the trailer has dropped. And um, is she worth summoning? So, I know a lot of players just from seeing Freya, you know, being announced already had their mindset. Yes, I'm summoning. I'm going to pity if I have to. I'm having this character in my box, which is fair enough. But for the rest of the, the players that are just, you know, wanting to know... How much value does she bring uh, for like a free-to-play player or light spender alike? Um, is she really worth pulling 600 gems, maybe 20, uh, maybe uh, 1,200 gems if you get unlucky? And the answer is, it depends. Do you like Ragnarok? Like, are you actively using the Ragnarok team? If you go search by Ragnarok, right? Are these characters worked on? Do you have a 6-6 red Brynhildr with, uh, with UR gear? I mean, UR gear for Brynhildr probably do. Do you have the end worked on? Yes, maybe. It's an okay team right now. She is a character that was sort of made for PvP, but can also work in PvE. She's pretty good for, like, the old demonic beasts. So, bird, deer and uh, dogs, I use her on all three of those, and she's pretty good. But the really weird thing is that we just got a Neo Demonic Beast, and she's not made for it, right? Every single time we've got a Demonic Beast, Brynhildr, uh, Scotty, and Freyr, those were characters that were kind of made for the Beast. They don't make the Beast insanely easy, like the following characters, you know, Megelda, Yorm, and, and uh, Tonar, but in a way, they were kind of designed to work there. Not this one. She releases a new Demonic Beast, and she's a PvP character. For each Ragnarok character on field, she gets 7% attack related stats. Maybe people haven't figured out, right? How to use her on the new Demonic Beast, but no one has had success with her on the new Demonic Beast, and uh, it's been a few days, so people who have already beat Floor 2 haven't even like given a chance to beat floor one with this character. So it's uh, it's something to think about. She's decent for the old demonic beast if you don't have a team for those, but you need like other Ragnar characters. So the answer is not really. For most players, going first with the Ragnarok team is just not viable. And even if you go first with the end, right? You have a 660 end, holy relic, worked on, everything maxed out. Same thing for Brynhildr, and then you, you know, you max out Freya, buy all her cosmetics, level them up, right? If you get all that CC and you end up going first, you still lose to most demon teams. If you're facing demons, you probably lost. Because demons are just so much better. And it's not even comparable. Demons are number one, and there's no second place right now. It's like the second place is using Meliodas with Red Gelfer and, and Summer Merlin, right? It's not viable. The, the team is just not viable. Now, I don't know what will happen next Ragnarok banner in like two or three months. Is there going to be a new character, like Tear or whatever, like a new character they haven't seen yet, that's going to be PvP based and will make Ragnarok the best team in the game? Could be. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Could be. Are you going to gamble on that? <laughs> I, I guess maybe you, you could. There is a chance. But as of, as of right now, as it stands, Ragnarok sucks. The team is not very good. So there is that. It sucks because if not for Meliodas, this character would be so insane. Genuinely, this character would be insane. Her damage is so crazy. It's just that Meliodas is in another level, right? Askenor is really good. Like, he's number two in PvP, right? He's number two. But... He can be one-shot by a level one from this character. Meliodas cannot. On the demon team, lowering your attack, especially if they have Chandler. Melee with the damage reduction, everything like that, super high stats. You are struggling to kill a Meliodas with this character. While Askinor, you can just one-shot him. That's the big difference, right? And then, yeah, Askinor has, like, the, the four stacks after he dies, whatever. It's, like, a different ballpark at that point. But... This character would be so good if she released like two months ago, uh, but it's not two months ago. So I think for majority of players, there are things to look forward to. So in this patch note, 
Uh, we're getting just that for, uh, you know, things to spend gems on. We have the new chapter update and everything like that. Sometime in the future, we're getting Knights of the Apocalypse. I'm going to make a video on uh, Knights of the Apocalypse soon. I, I'm caught up with the manga. Um, so I'm probably going to make a video, like, on what to expect from this, like, I don't know if you'd call this a collab with Knights of the Apocalypse, given it's technically the same IP. It's still called Seven Deadly Sins, Knights of the Apocalypse, so I don't know. Um... But, you know, this is coming in the future. We don't know when, but it's coming in the future. So, like, oh, uh, maybe it will take six months. But if you want to hold gems for, like, Percival, if you like the manga, it's pretty cool. But in the near future, right, Global Anniversary is in one month. End of February was the release of Queen DN, which was the Global Anniversary celebration. So, Global Anniversary Festival is coming out in one month. So keep that in mind when summoning for Freya. I think Freya is really good. I just really caution people to know that she's not good for free-to-play players. Like, if you can't go first with Ragnarok, she doesn't really work. And even if you do, it's a struggle. And then for Demonic Beast, she looks like she, she does good damage and it's fast, but it's not the fastest. Like, Eskinor is better, Melly's better. There are better options, but she's cool. And she, she looks good, right? That, so, <laughs> there's that. I mean, there's the, the uh, aesthetic, aesthetic value, but... Um, oh yeah, for the rest of the update, by the way, um, the Demonic Beast is very hard. I, um, I haven't given any attempts to Floor 2 yet. I know quite a few people have beaten Floor 2 already with... Um, I mean, are already selected with uh, this weird. I mean, this is floor one, but this is the. I'll put up real quick the, the floor two team. This is the floor two team. Ignore the links and the stats. Um, this is the team people have found success beating the second floor. No one, as far as I know, has beaten floor three yet. No one. It's been like, what, five days? No one. I think this is the hardest Demonic Beast ever. The reason why I haven't gotten much uh, attempts into Floor 2 personally is because I remember when Dogs came out and it was incredibly frustrating and I don't want to go through that again. I do not want to get burnt out on this game. I really don't. Uh, so I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just pacing myself. But this is by far, I think, the hardest Demonic Beast ever. So if you struggle, just know everyone is also struggling. Floor 1... Uh, with that King Cheese team is pretty easy, but the floor two is stupid hard, and then floor three again. If no one has beaten yet, it's even harder. And the Demonic Beast uh, brings these Holy Relics. These are all three bad Holy Relics. Melaskos is cool. Like, as a content creator, I really want to make it, but I'm probably going to make Zelda's first because you're going to get more views. Um, don't worry about these three Holy Relics so far. I'll just note that the Holy Relic for like Lost Vein and Assault Melee is probably going to be this boss. And then also with this patch, we got King's Holy Relic, which is pretty good. And uh, they're giving a Holy Relic for dogs for free. If you just um, go in your login. Oh yeah, Freya is a login character. You can see here, you're going to get a full free uh, Holy Relic for dogs, which I'm going to make a video on which characters I recommend. King is, like, up there on the recommendation, but, you know, number one is obviously going to be Tonar, right? And apart from that, just regular events, uh, bingo, stuff like that, uh, and the Ragnarok chapter, which, um, with a release of any new chapter, right, you get, um, oh, it's not here that you see that, damn it. With the release of any new chapter, you get the 30 gems from the previous one, so... You're going to be getting 30 gems from uh, finishing chapter 5 and then doing chapter 6. And uh, I think that's about it for this patch. So spend your gems cautiously. There is, again, a festival coming in one month. So saving 900 gems for that could be good. We don't know who it's going to be, but it could be anyone. It could be Mael. It could be literally anyone. And um, after that, you know, we have looking forward to Nice the Apocalypse, which... I highly doubt they're going to fumble Knights of the Apocalypse. They're probably going to make them the best characters in the game. Uh, <laughs> so keep that in mind. But yeah, good luck.